Hi, Linda Kay here from lindakaystampandpage.blogspot.com with my April 20th, 2021 video to the collab I'm in titled Fab Four. This collab is hosted by Deb Hauk as well as Paige who is Stamp Girl here on YouTube. And the purpose of this collab is for us to pull out um, one of the fabulous four tools in our craft room, which could be a die an embossing folder, a punch, or a mask. Now we can use one or all of them and create a magnificent project and share it with you here on YouTube on the 20th of every month. And I'm going to show you the project or the products that I used and then I'll show you what I've created. Um, you all know that I love my dies and so I pulled out the mini Kirby keepsake box die by Stampin' Up! and this is current. Four punches. Current classic label by Stampin' Up. Two inch circle punch. That's current. And for the retired ones, one and three quarter. You know my motto. Just because it's retired doesn't mean I can't use it. And here is another retired one. And this is the Starburst punch. Uh, those are all for the punches. Uh, for the papers, I did use uh, crumb cake as well as some basil paper that I picked up at Tuesday morning, and I had it in my stash. And I also used this American Crafts My Baby 6x6 six six pad, and of course you can see I bought it back in June of 2015. It's very cute paper, small prints, and... Perfect, of course, for a boy. And um, I also used this um, Craft and Navy Baker's Twine. I don't know where I got this. It could have been Tuesday morning. It could have been Michael's. I'm not sure. I did ink edges with my uh, frayed burlap by Ranger. And that's about it. So I'm going to put these items aside and I'm going to show you what I've created. I'm, um, my nephew is having his first baby real soon and I'm filming this early. And um, I'm having a little intimate um, baby shower. You know, with COVID you can't do all that stuff. But I thought they need to have a baby shower and I wanted to do something. So um, it was just... The four of us and I decorated upstairs real cute with banners and I made a diaper cake and and then uh, I saw a pin on Pinterest and this person took little tiny flower pots and dowels and took her punches and made the word baby you know on the flowers and it, she had a little tray that she had them on and it was kind of like for the centerpiece of the table and I thought well you know I'd like to kind of do something like that but I don't have any flower pots but I had the curvy keepsake box so I'm going to show you what I created here it is of course you can't see it too well so I'm going to kind of flip it see this is how it looks so we know of course we know it's a boy and they've named him Walter and I've nicknamed him Wally and so this is how my interpretation of that pin is. And I'll kind of show you these things a little closer. And this, this uh, tray I made, uh, I followed a tutorial, and her name is Michelle Allen. Michelle Allen. And I will leave a link to her channel below so you can go over and see uh, how she makes these um frames and I just thought I'd turn it into a tray I only needed two by ten because these are two by two squares I have five so two by ten so um I did that and it's very sturdy but here are the little boxes and I'll quickly tell you how I did this um I cut it once out of the blue and then I decided what papers I wanted and I just cut the tab portion on I you know, cut it apart from the what was left and glued it. And then here is the classic label punch that looks like the lollipop stick. 
and then there's the starburst, the two inch circle, and then the one and a three quarters. And Wally's name, I cut out with a diamond press alpha dies. And then I did cover the back. There's nothing inside. I just thought this would be nice to either be on his bookshelf or on his dresser with his name. And uh, they're kind of uneven, but I like that. I like that kind of uneven wonkiness. And they just sit right here in this little tray. And um, I think that the parents of Wally are going to be very happy with this. And um, there you go. That's my project. And uh, again, I will leave a link to Michelle's channel as well as Paige and Deb and all the other participants. I'll leave their links below and head on over to their channels and get some inspiration from how they use their fab for tools from their craft room. Well, I hope you enjoy, and as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hey, if you hit that little notification button down there, you are assured of never missing another one of these marvelous videos. Well, I'll catch you next month.